Hey everyone, welcome back. Joey Moss, Bad Boy Gaming. And by now we all know about these good old Walmart Magic the Gathering Mystery Cubes inside for $19. You can find Commander decks. Now that's not always the case, but if it weighs more than 0.92 pounds, odds are you found yourself a pretty nice expensive Commander deck. Pretty good deal considering some of these Commander decks are going in price for 40 to 125 bucks a pop. But did we know good old Target now is doing something very similar? They're throwing commander decks inside of these as well. They're rectangular shape. They weigh about twice as much, but man, are they easy to spot on the shelf. Let's see what's inside this one. Unbelievable. I mean, you can even just tell looking at the side of this thing that there's a really bulky deck right here. Dear Joey, encloses a cube I found at my local Target store that just happens to have a commander deck in it. I know you are looking for more of these to open, so here's another. Since I already have this pre-con, you can keep the commander deck. Whoa. Since I heard you in a recent video saying you are wanting to play commander. Very, very true. I hope this is a fun open um, that gets a lot of views. Enjoy. Right on, dude. PLA, my ninja. Brian Stanley. Brian Stanley, thank you very, very much for sending this out. This is really cool. Uh, but look, you can already see there is a commander deck in here. But what the heck is all this other stuff? I'm kind of curious to find out what's all that. Um, Man, why would they make them like that, guys? Why would they do it this way? Like the way they got it, you can just easily see what the heck's inside which is a redunculus. I'm going to let this be a surprise here in a little bit, but all, let's just find out what all we got here. Atarka, World Render. So we get a nice little shiny promo foil there, huh? That is from, you know, Dragons of Turkey, I believe. Nice storage case, too. Got a pack of Kaladish. Got some Styrofoam. Why would they do that? I don't know. It looks like a land bundle right here. God, no way! Goblin Diplomats. That's not even a bad deck. All right, all right. And then we got Mr. Dragons of Turk here. Kelly Ish. So let's just check. This is a land pack, if I'm not mistaken. Some people go to Walmart, and they end up with these, <laughs> these land packs. And um, they, they start going, whoa, why did this happen? I, I, you said there was going to be commander decks inside of here. I certainly did, and there certainly are, but you got to know the trick. And it's just got to weigh the right amount. It's that simple. Um, this looks like one of these uh, they give out at your F&M or something. We're going to crack it open. Um, it's like an intro deck, I believe they call these. Or something like their intro pack, maybe. Or just something, I think it's MJ Holdings that produces this as well. This is cool. It's from uh, 2014, though. A 1-1 one -one with Hexproof. Can't go wrong with that. Colonian Tusker. Another forest. Any rare in here? Howl of the Night pack. Forest and a Fogger. Good old Fogger. When was the last print of Fog? Was that 2014? I think it may have been 2014. So already, this looks cool. We got a Goblin Diplomats deck on the top here. Goblin Rabble Master to follow. Goblin Chieftain. Cool deck. Goblin Goon. What does Goblin Goon do? Goblin Goon can't attack unless, control, uh, unless you control more creatures than defending player. Goblin Goon can't block unless you control more creatures than attacking a player. That's pretty neat. Goblin Raise Runners. Man. How many goblins are in here? Cranko Boss. Mob. Uh, Cranko Mob Boss. Relentless Assault. What deck is this? I can't even remember. It looks really familiar. I think I opened one of these. Goblins versus something. Someone help me out with this one. Goblin Chain Belcher. Is this the Goblins vs. Elves, I think? Wow. So there was a whole bunch of rares there. They used to be a rare. Battle Squadron, Goblin Tunneler. This is like a whole pre-con deck here. Goblin Glory Chaser. Goblin War Driver times Deuce. Wow. Well, that's a steal in itself right there alone. A whole bunch of mountains. What other what kind of lands we got in here? Blighted Gorge times two. Tarfire. Some old that's some nice old older artwork. Not too old, but old enough. Krinko's Command. Good old Ghost Fire. Goblin Grenade. I love the artwork on that one. It was just being launched. Like it was just catapulted or something with like TNT in his mouth. <laughs> it's so funny. Cool deck. Wow. 
So that's, I don't know what that goes for, but that's not bad at all. <clears throat> we got a couple booster packs here. We're going to save those for the last to crack. And we got the Archmage Ritualist. Human Wizard deck. Oh, man. Holy smokes. Let's see what awesomeness this is. I have to chop this in half. So many cards. <laughs> Mythic. Nice. Comet Storm. Enola. Archmage Ritualist. Wow. I'm not going to go over all the cards, but... Holy crappies, man. Cast Descendant Mage. Oh, I love the artwork on these. And those foils just shine. It's all like Radiant. It's gorgeous. Marcel the Pretender. These are all Mythic Foils. I think that's the only way they print these, though, is Mythic Foil. Um, for these, like the Commanders. Like, you can pick what Commander you want out of those three, I believe. A zombie. Got some tokens up in here. Rakdos Charm. All right, all right. Bloodline Necromancer. I mean, there's just so many sweet cards in here. They really stock these things like they like, load them. Um, just the amount of uh, mythics and rares is just ridiculous. I think half the deck consists of mythics and rares. They even go for the throat. I mean, I think that's even like a 99 cent card. Cauldron Dance. That's cool. Is that the devil? I'm not sure. Croesus Charm. Is it? Good old is it? Is it's about to be big again in standard? Terminate. Solid. They printed Terminate as an uncommon and as a common? I'm not confusing that with something else. I think they did. And as a rare. That thing's been printed in everything. Dark Steel Ingat. Soul Ring. Can't go wrong with a Soul Ring. Worn Power Stone. Legit. Gale Caster Colossus. So now we're going to get into some of these crazy uh, rares and mythics here. Galecaster Colossus. Magus of the Mind. This is so neat. It really, really is. So definitely make sure you guys go out. Check your local uh, targets for these. And like I, like I said, they're easy to spot. I mean, you just kind of go up in there and bada bang, you got one. If they have any. Kindred Dominance. Vindictive Liquor. Zombie Wizard. When Vindictive dies, choose one or more. Each mode must target a different player. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. Target opponent discards two cards. Target opponent loses five. I guess that's a way just to upset the whole entire board. I'm not sure how playable that is because you're just like, make, you know, kind of upsetting everyone. <laughs> is it Chemister? Shifting Shadow. I think that's the last thing you want in Commander is to have like three enemies. Like all like, all right, man. Like I needed that card. I need that life. I need it, you know, whatever that card's telling you to do. Uh, Tegman, Sadissi's Hand. Oh, that'd be cool in foil with that, uh, those purple, whatever you want to call them, flying about. That'd be really sweet. Do they even have that in foil? Is that is that a card you could even get in foil? Somebody let me know, a place commander. Clone Legion, there's a mythic. Good old Comet Storm. Haven Gall Lead. That looks cool, too. It's a five drop zombie wizard. Uh, for one, you may cast target creature card in a graveyard this turn. When you cast that card this turn, um, Haven Gale gains all activated abilities of that card until end of turn. Oh my gosh. Pretty strong. Marchisa, the Black Rose. Death Throne, or Dethrone. <laughs> Whenever this creature attacks the player with the most life or tied for most life, put a plus one plus one counter on it. No way. Other creatures you control have death, uh, Dethrone. I keep saying Death Throne. I don't know why I want to say that. Veil of the Nightclad. These are all mythics right now. Legendary Creature, Human Wizard. Arcanus the Omnipotent. Draw three cards. What's your guys' favorite commander? Do you guys have one? Um, I know I actually tried making a deck with Arcanus the Omnipotent as my commander. I can't remember how well that went. I don't think it went too good. I think I was playing noobs also. So I might have won that. Azami, Lady of Scrolls. Body double. These are the shapeshifter here. You may have body double enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature card in a graveyard. It's a five drop. That's pretty cool. Harbinger of the Tides. The old deucer. Polymorphous jest. Oh, the frogs and horsies are getting together for a little party. That's cool. Serendib Sorcerer. Target creature other than Serendib Sorcerer has base power and toughness 02 until end of turn. It says other than him. Why would you not want to... Like, what would it matter if you? I don't know. I don't get that. Why would you? I don't. Why would you want to target it? Or why won't it let you target it? Spell twine. Cool artwork on that, especially in foil. 
Apprentice Necromancer. I want this whole deck foiled. That'd be sweet. Sacrifice uh, Apprentice Necromancer. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. That creature gains haste at the beginning of the next end step. Sacrifice it. Decree of Pain. Of course. Destroy all creatures for eight. They can't be regenerated. Draw a card for each creature destroyed this way. Holy smokes. That's a, that sounds like a really good card. Because only you're the one drawing all the cards there. Magus of the Abyss, Human Wizard. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, destroy target non-artifact creature that player controls of his or her choice. It can't be regenerated. Oh my gosh. Each player's upkeep, yikes. Necromantic Selection. So nice. I, these are cards you just don't always see because um, they're only in Commander decks. Not all of them, but I, I think quite a few are only like, they're just strictly Commander. Another destroy all creatures and return a creature card put into a graveyard this way to the battlefield under your control. It's a black zombie addition to its other colors and types. And then you exile selection. Puppeteer clicker right there. Pretty cool. Chaos warp. And Ethereum horn sorcerer. That looks sweet. Was that like an ox? It's a pretty messed up ox. Memory plunder. Oh. That reminds me of that one fish. That's like a bad fish now. That's a bad fish. You don't want to eat that. If you find that in your lake, you know, throw it back. Mercurial Chemister. And then the Pain Artist. I like the purple they used in this set. Niv Mizzet the Firemind. Printed a billion times. Good old Shadow Mage. Infiltrator. Solmogaz Command. Good old Larry Nevin's Disc. Exotic Orchard. Mystifying Maze, pretty neat. What was that printed in? That was something else I thought too. And then you get a bunch of lands and swamps. But really, really neat that this is inside um, one of these one of these target cubes. I mean, that's that's nutty. Good old Damer. Evolving Wilds, Grixis. Any rares? Temple of the False God. Vivid Craig. Vivid Marsh. Really, really neat. So right there, bada bing, uh, an entire commander deck inside one of these target cubes and uh, some other goodies. That goblin deck? Come on. I mean, what? I don't know what more you want. I mean, this was a steal. But I did go into wa my Walmart. Not my Walmart, my Target. I went into Wawa. Can't even talk today. <laughs> I went into my Target. And uh, there was like six on the shelf, but none of them appeared to have uh, anything commander related in them. So I was like, oh, that's poopy. Uh, weapon craft enthusiast. Fairground trumpeteer. Inventor's fair. Not too bad. And ornamental courage. Foil. We'll take it. A foil in a pack is a good day. Last but not least. If you guys are still hanging out here, please, by all means, hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Cal uh, Sisma Behemoth. Youthful Scholar. Ultimate Price. Clone Legion Mythic. So not bad. Pretty cool. And the old Swampy. Followed by a Morph. That was awesome. What is this? Oh, I know. It's, it's, it's another land pack. I mean, there's not much to explore. You want me to really open it? You want me? You don't want? You don't want me to open this? It's a thick lamp pack. If it's a lamp pack, all right, all right, fine. We'll open it. But it looks like a bundle lamp pack. Pretty certain it's just another lamp pack. Oh yeah. So be careful with something like this, because you might be looking at it thinking, you know what? I got a commander deck in there. But you know what you're looking at? You're looking at a lamp pack, Jack. Had to point that out. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you smash that like button. And as always, PLA.